So our topic today is the midpoint of a segment. So if A is the midpoint of line segment CT, CAT or CT, A divides C2 into two equal parts. And equal also means congruent, such that CA is congruent to AT. And if it's really a midpoint, 2, because there's two equal parts, times the length of one of these segments should give you the length of the entire segment CT. So in trapezoid PARK, T is the midpoint of PA, so that means T divides PA into two equal parts. And D is the midpoint of RK, so that means those are congruent. Therefore, TD, this segment right here, is the median of the trapezoid. So when a line goes from one median of one side of a trapezoid to another median of the other side of the trapezoid, or midpoint, excuse me, it is the median of the trapezoid. And when the median of a trapezoid is equal to the sum of the bases divided by 2. So now that we know that, we're going to do a couple examples. So we have this. And if you remember, we're going to call this m. The length of m is equal to base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. So to find the length of x, we're going to plug all of this information into our formula. So m is the median of this trapezoid because it, it connects the two medians of the sides. So then we can plug it into this formula. So 25 is equal to 18 plus x, which is what we're trying to find, divided by 2. When we solve for x, we have to divide, or sorry, multiply both sides by 2. So we get 50 equals 18 plus x. So to solve for x, we subtract 18 over, and you get x is equal to 32. And if you want to plug that back in, 32 plus 18 divided by 2. 32 plus 18 is 50. 50 divided by 2 is 25. That's just another way to double check that your answer is right. Okay, so now we're trying to find the length of x. Well, since x, this point right here divides this leg into two equal parts, it's the midpoint. Same thing for this one, divides it in two equal parts. So it is also the midpoint. So that means that x is the median of the trapezoid. So x is equal to the sum of the bases over 2. So x is equal to 75 divided by 2, and we'll just leave that as our answer. Well, that's all we have for midpoint, but um, next time we're going to go into graphing, so make sure you come watch that.